just a little garden tour today. Kind of keeping a video record of what I've got going on out here. I've got African basil, echinacea, milkweed. Um, that's milkweed right there. Too thick plant. That's the echinacea. That's the ba African basil. This is lemongrass right here. And this is, I don't even know how you pronounce it. Adjuratum. Apparently it was mixed in with the seed somehow because I, I don't even have a packet of that. And then I'm trying to remember what this guy is. Oh wait, here's a tag. St. John's wort. That's St. John's wort. This is Tulsi basil. That's Clary Sage. These are Tom multiplying onions. I'm waiting for those to get scapes on them before I can do any harvesting. And this is all in the raised bed by the edge of the garden. Over here is my pepper bed. Down on this end, I've also got sunflowers. Those for, are for attracting pollinators. I had a whole bunch of garden sage that I started, so I just plopped some in here. Um, that is African basil. And then a zinnia right here. Oops. Right there for pollinators. I just put that in yesterday. And then this pepper plant right here is a variegated pepper plant. And it looks so pretty. This is a fish pepper. And I topped it off because I realized it finally got tall enough for that. So now it's starting to bush out in the little armpits of the plant. So it'll be a bushier, kind of like this one. This one is a Mad Hatter pepper. And I've got a few peppers on it, which is pretty exciting. I've never had this before, but you can kind of see how they grow the shapes of them. And my cat's coming over to talk to me because she does that. Okay, so here we've got some habanadas in this row. We have got shishito peppers in this row. I'm probably gonna have to pull that one out because it just doesn't look great. That's actually my favorite one. I discovered that one last year, I really like it. So I've got two rows of that, I think. This is poblanos right here. I really feel like I should have done more poblanos because I really discovered that I love poblanos and I want to make uh, chili rianos out of those. Um, it looks like I forgot to top them. How is that possible? I was topping everything out here. So yeah, I'm probably going to go through here and just snip off the tops of these since they don't have flowers on them and help it produce more down down below. See, I've got this one growing in that, but there's no, yeah, there's no actual place where any of these have been topped, so I'll probably do that. I don't know how I missed that one. All right, so this one's banana peppers, and I do have, oops, have a little banana pepper growing right there. So that's exciting. Hey, Cookie. Meow. These are my, so this is my row of Serranos. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my pictures and stuff because I could have sworn I topped everything out here. And then these are Aji Kachuka. That's a seasoning pepper that I've never heard of. Um, this one is Durango Guajillo. I've got two rows of this. No, three rows of this because these are good for rubs and stuff. And actually the taco shed has a taco with a cream sauce that has this spice in it that I really like. So I'm hoping that's going to work out. And I've got some of these plants with some little holes in them and things but they they're doing okay so i'm not too worried about it this is rattlesnake pole beans on this 
side right here. And then over on this side, I've got a borage plant and some Kentucky blue pole beans. And some of these beans are just, I've never grown beans before, so this is a learning experience. All right, so we've got, this one is not super happy. This one is being used as an aphid farm. So I've been told to put like neem oil or something like that on it. And if I treat it, then the plant will recover. And since this is on the um, plants, I only have one, two, three, four, so I only have five of them. And this was actually one of the taller ones. So I've just been kind of putting it off because I've never done Nemo and I don't know what I'm doing. So that's my pepper bed. This is beans and cucumbers. So on this side of the trellis, I've got Kentucky pole beans. So um, I've got them on both sides. And then this one on this side is the same as over here. So, so the front half of this trellis is rattlesnake pole beans and the second half of the trellis is the Kentucky blue. These are provider bush beans right there. Probably stuck my hand in front of it. Provider bush beans. These are black turtle. And then this is where the cucumbers start on this side. So this is actually um, Mexican sour gherkins. I put some seeds in here and um, the thing about Mexican sour gherkins is they take forever to sprout. They grow so stupid slow, it's crazy. So this one is looking okay. And I had like four seeds over here and this was the only one that came up and then I saw this thing pop up. I actually had a no I actually did have another one and I accidentally weeded it because it was so teeny tiny I didn't realize. But um I noticed this one and that actually looks like this. So I'm I'm assuming one of my seeds somehow got dropped back there or washed back there or something. So I just got that one marked. I'm letting it do its thing and see. And then these are all cucumbers. This is market more cucumber right here. And I think I've got four of those plants. And then this one is Chicago pickling cucumbers. And I've got four of those. Now around on this side, I've got some varieties that I had some seeds of. This is a um, China Jade. These two are called China Jade. And then these other two are called Bait Alpha Cucumbers. And I believe they're both supposed to be seedless and they don't require pollinators. So I'm interested to see how these grow versus those because you can see the difference. Like the ones, the ones over on the front side, the front side of the bed are a lot smaller than these. And it could be because of how the sun is and like we've got this tree here. But I purposely put the cucumbers here because I thought maybe they could benefit from having some of the shade. I might actually get cucumbers longer into the summer. So I actually did this on purpose as an experiment. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then this is a nasturtium, and that's borage. That's a white one. My bigger, fluffier borages have been in longer. They're blue ones. I only got a couple of those somewhere. So these are the front two beds with the arch that I'm really excited to see get covered up. And then I will do a separate video for my other bits.